A, a tough development for Buffalo's bravest. The fire department has recorded its first ever line of duty cancer diagnosis. Yeah, the disease is tied directly to this fire captain's decades of service, but because of a partnership in our own backyard, there is a happy ending. 7 News senior reporter Michael Wooten has traveled around the country collecting pieces of this story about Captain Mark Egloff's fight to beat cancer. Truly a success story here tonight, changing lives here at home and around the world. At every structure fire, car crash, or technical rescue in the city of Buffalo, you'll find Rescue One. There are a lot of calls. There are a lot of calls, yes. Captain Mark Egloff has been with the Special Operations Unit for more than a decade, a Buffalo firefighter for 27 years. His team is constantly training, but there are some things in life for which you can never quite prepare. And they had noticed the spot on my lung. A spot that eventually mutated to cancer. You know, you're scared when you hear it. You know, everyone hears cancer, you get scared from it. You know, that's, that's just a natural reaction. Thankfully, it was called early during a firefighter screening event with Eddie, Roswell Park's mobile lung cancer screening unit. Early detection puts him in a position where he's just gonna have surgery and go back to work and have the rest of his life with his family. That's exactly what happened. I was fortunate enough that we caught it early enough that it was just a little segment they took out, they stitched me up and I was good to go. Eddie is part of a constantly growing relationship between Roswell Park, the Buffalo Fire Department, and its union, all based on the recognition that firefighters have a 9% higher risk of developing cancer and a 14% higher risk of dying from it. The screenings are the start of it, then from there, Obviously, the focus is on the firefighter's health, making sure he, he, he gets the treatment he needs, gets back to work, gets back to his family. Turns out, Captain Egloff was the Buffalo Fire Department's first ever line of duty cancer diagnosis with the disease tied directly to his service. I don't like the spotlight or none of that, but I'm glad that I was able to get it approved and hopefully this is opens up for the door of, of recognizing cancer. The work happening in Buffalo stands out around the country and beyond. I'm here at the International Firefighters Cancer Symposium on the campus of the University of Miami, where Roswell Park and the Buffalo Firefighters Union Local 282 share their success stories with fire departments from around the world. This is kind of the moment where we, we go all out and we don't take no for an answer. Right after they presented the union's new president, screening team, and Roswell's director of physician and corporate relations told me what this moment means. We've been able to collaborate in, in, in with the city, with the department, with Roswell, and, and move this forward to a point where um, we're actually being you know, looked upon as an example of how to do things right. To be on the panel and to be presenting and to be a thought leader now in this space is honestly an honor for not just us personally, but for both of the organizations that we're here to represent. That we stay on top of this. It all started with a cancer prevention committee two years ago, which led to not only the enhanced screenings, but Roswell has also provided decontamination wipes for firefighters to remove cancer-causing chemicals and help secure state funding for specialized machines to properly properly wash firefighter gear, lowering the cancer risk. This is a dangerous, dirty job, and we need to mitigate those factors which can cause cancer as much as possible. It's going to help them be healthier, it's going to keep everyone safer, and they can continue to keep our community safe. In return, the union now has a Ride for Roswell team and donated hundreds of gifts to Roswell's annual toy drive, building a bond to save lives. Secured our partnership in that they know that we're here to support them. Back at Rescue One, proof that the relationship is working. Captain Egloff is back on the job, cancer free and grateful. My kids and wife and everyone are, and parents are ecstatic that it went the way it went. We're very thankful that early detection helped and, and helped me out and saved my life. Roswell has already done more than a thousand lung and skin cancer screenings for local first responders with the goal to keep expanding. Captain Egloff told me that this will save lives and that his fellow firefighters are very receptive to this. He hopes that by sharing his story, it will lead to 100% participation. He did not want to be the focus here, but he said, you know what? I'm the first time this has ever happened 
and I want to share what happened with me because it could help someone else. Early detection, and we're so happy that about. he is doing well and so grateful for all of you doctors and nurses Absolutely. fighting the good fight. Great, okay. great to see this positive outcome and incredible to know the front lines of this battle right here. Right here. In Western Fire Europe. departments all over the world learning from Buffalo.